हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आवर यू आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फिट एंड फाइन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स एंड एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम द चैप्टर अवर नर्वस सिस्टम सो लेट अस इमीजिएटली स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टिक द करेक्ट आंसर्स एंड द फर्स्ट सब क्वेश्चन इन दैट इज अवर नर्वस सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एंड द डैश द ऑप्शंस आर ब्लड वेसल्स kidneys lungs nerves what is the correct option the correct option is nerves okay fine let us see next question a person might faint if his heart does not send enough blood to his dash what are the options feet house kidneys brain what should be the correct answer person might faint if his heart does not send enough blood to his brain brain is the correct option then comes the third question the third question is when we happen to touch a hot object the sensory immediately passes message to dash options are brain hands spinal cord eyes i repeat the question when we happen to touch a hot object the sensory nerves immediately pass message to dash brain hands spinal cord or eyes well the answer for this is spinal cord what do sensory nerves do they immediately pass message to spinal cord and spinal cord in turn helps our hand to leave the hot object then fourth question is to clean a blocked nose we must inhale dash perfume ice steam or none of this the option correct answer for this is steam then comes short answers so here the first question is the brain needs a continuous supply of blood and oxygen why well the answer to this question is brain needs a continuous supply of blood and oxygen because it is like fuel for brain very important word it is like fuel for brain and if it doesn't get a supply person might faint so these are the points that should be the part of the answer well let us see the next question the next question is what are sensory nerves the sensory nerves are the nerves that transmit signal to the brain from all the senses okay so what are sensory nerves they are the nerves that transmit signal to the brain from all other senses third question how is our brain protected from injuries the answer for this question is brain is enclosed within the skull also between skull and brain there is a clear fluid which acts like a cushion and protects it from injuries and that's how our brain is protected then fourth question is what could happen if we clean our ears with a pointed object the answer to this question is if we try to clean our eyes with a pointed object it can cause injury to the eardrum inside so we should always avoid cleaning our ears with pointed object then the fifth question is what is reflex action the actions which are done automatically without thinking are called reflex actions so whatever actions that we do immediately and automatically without thinking these are called as reflex actions well now it's time for some long answers so the question is what does nervous system consist of answer to this question is our nervous system consists of brain spinal cord and nerves then second question name the different parts of the brain and what work does each part do our brain is made up of three parts which are they cerebrum it controls the working of our eyes ears nose and tongue it also controls our voice it is the center of intelligence then the next part is cerebellum it con- coordinates the actions of the muscles and makes them work together it help us to balance our body then last part is medulla it connects the brain to the spinal cord it controls the involuntary actions like movement of lungs or heart so these are the various parts and their functions 
Let us see next question. What are nerves and what are their functions? The answer to this question is nerves are structures similar to a long thread that carries signals between brain and other parts of the body. It is responsible for transporting messages to all the body parts. So that is the working of nerves. Then the fourth question. How does food taste if we have it cold? The answer to this question is the food does not taste good when we have cold because our nose is blocked and food tastes better when we can smell it. And that's why when we feel cold, we feel that the food is so tasteless. Why? Because it has blocked our nose. This cold has blocked our nose and if we cannot smell it, we cannot uh, find the food tastier. Okay, so this is the answer. I will repeat the answer. Food does not taste good when we have cold because our nose is blocked and food tastes better when we can smell it. And the last question, how can you help your skin to be healthy? Well, soap and water are enough to remove dirt and sweat from the skin. Dry yourself thoroughly after bathing and wear clean and comfortable clothes. A scratch or a cut on the skin should be treated with antiseptic lotion to prevent infection. This is how we should take care of our skin. Well, students, that was all for today. Thanks for attending this session. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask. You can put your comments in comment box. I will try to answer them. And see you during next session with a new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.